we are going to be using an 8 by 10 canvas for this project. At home I did not have any so I used my sketchbook which are the same dimensions. I taped my borders since I did do this in my multimedia sketchbook. Here you can see that I am looking at my reference photo while I am drawing and I am sketching out the proportions of my portrait from my reference photo, which I have attached here on the screen so you can see what I am referring to. I'm adding in a little bit more details after I first drew very lightly. So remember we draw light until it's right and then you can use a little bit more pressure when you know that your proportions are accurate. I'm going to continue drawing out. Remember that I have that how to draw a portrait using the grid method. This can be found attached to your slides. You just click the link to open up the new PowerPoint. And then using the grid method, you can draw your photo by breaking it into boxes to make sure all of your proportions are accurate. Now I'm going to start applying color. First I did more of a watered down wash, but mm, I didn't really like the more transparent feel to it. I wanted it to feel darker. Therefore I decided just to go in with thick acrylic paint, not using much water at all, just enough to get my paint to glide and help me blend it out. You can see I stippled first my color and now I'm going in and blending them together. Again, using those blending techniques to create a nice full range of values. You can see from black to blue to turquoise. And I'm nicely going against my edges of my bottle to create a nice clean line. Then I go in to fill in my bottle and I'm looking again at the reference photo so I can see where I need to apply certain colors and where I need to leave gaps open for another color. I wouldn't recommend coloring an entire area blue if the underneath is going to be, or if the other area is going to be orange like you can see I'm doing now. Because remember, when you add orange and blue together, you create a duller color. It will become grayed. You're mixing complements together that way. And you don't want to do that. So um, acrylic paint, though you can cover mistakes easily, um, you can see that you can still see a little bit of the underneath of the paper. So um, we want to make sure that we're having like a nice base color. Um, I like to call this killing the color of the canvas. So like right now we have like a white paper. So right now I'm adding in my base colors, having an undertone of orange, which is the complement of blue. So I'm applying this to the rest of the skin. Again, killing that white of the canvas so I have a nice undertone color so that when I start layering on top, I can still see those nice undertones of orange. So here you can see I'm starting to get in more of the lighter highlights and the rosier colors in her face. And I'm gonna do the same on the left from the reflection that is being distorted through the bottle. I left some of the areas of the canvas white because those are going to be the lightest areas so I want my highlights to really pop. So you can obviously leave certain areas pure white if you want that to be your intention. Here you can see that I'm just layering some more paint. I am starting to add more and more details starting to give more of that three-dimensional quality to my portrait. Layering in shadows and highlights, using contrast to make edges pop. And watch the rest of the video to see all of my details as I finish this painting.